In this example, I want to demonstrate how to add several brake lines to a terrain model at one time. So if you'll notice, I have um, a terrain here, and I can go and verify that by opening my Explorer, going to Open Roads Models, and you can see right here, Terrain Models, that I have a terrain model here by the name of Meadow Park Existing. And what I want to do is add several of these um, red brake lines into this terrain model at the same time. So this would apply and be effective if you have multiple brake lines that you wanted to add to a terrain model at once. So in order to efficiently do this, we would need to create a selection set of all the brake lines that we wanted to add to this terrain model. There's a number of different ways that I can do that. Um, I can click on the terrain model here and get the heads up prompt and turn off my triangles here and just create a selection set of these line segments. Um, I can also use my element selection tool here. Um, I will undo that and come down here and I can make a selection set by the color of the element that I want to grab or by the level name of the element. So in this case uh, I know that this color is going to be red and the active color is three. So I can come in and search for three and grab it that way also. So I'm going to turn my triangles back on. And grab these brake lines here. And then I want to go to terrain feature management and add features. From here it's prompting me to locate the terrain model to add elements. So I will select my metal park existing and the feature type that I want to add these as is brake line so that's already selected. I will data point and you notice that it says data point to accept to add the four selected elements um, and that's coming from my selection set so I'll data point to accept that data point to accept the feature type is brake line and notice that my terrain has updated accordingly thank you